Judge Heath has completed his placings in the Melking Shorehorn four-year-old cow class. Would our junior exhibitors please take a step forward? The second place junior is entry 1576, North Stars Jamaica EXP, shown by Christopher Peterson of Bram, Minnesota. The first junior is 1586, BDF Lothario Tammy, shown by Kyla Jarvis of BDF Farms, Cory, Indiana. The production winner in this class is entry 3061, Michael's Liriano de Moose EXP, shown by Michael Meyer of Stitzer, Wisconsin. At three years and five months of age, 275 days, she made 26,201 pounds of milk, 953 pounds of fat, and 780 pounds of protein. Third place goes to 1579 Mapleton Valley Aladzina, shown by Mapleton Valley Farms of Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Second in the class and best bred and owned, 1573 Halpins Rosalie Second EXP, shown by Andrew Rice of Halpin Farms, Kempton, Illinois. Winning the class and best utter, 1572 Landsbrook MVFL Claire ET, shown by Mapleton Valley Farms, Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Judge Heath, your reasons. Uh, kind of a difficult class uh, to, to line up, but when you get analyzing them, uh, this cow come to the forefront. Uh, she's just uh, shortly fresh, a couple weeks fresh uh, with twins. Um, I just feel that uh, when you get breaking her down, she has the least amount of holes all the way through. Uh, today, she's just, for a four-year-old, more mature in her frame and her udder than the cow in second. Uh, she has more bloom and... Uh, with uh, to that rear udder today, more definition through that crease area than the cow coming out second. She just two more total cow all the way through than the cow coming out second. Cow in second, uh, maybe a more a little more immature than I'd like to see for a four year old today. Uh, second caver versus the third caver that's one in the class, uh, but a cow that you really love the sweetness about her, the style and the balance, the correctness. She has great feet and legs. I just like to give her more pop to that rear udder and more definition and quality, uh, definition of crease and quality to that rear udder today. And I just like to give her more total udder to get above, to get any higher. The second cow over the third cow, um, she's just uh, more ready today. A cow that just uh, um, is fuller in that rear udder and just has more top to that rear udder, stronger in that rear udder attachment. Uh, She's more balanced in her frame all the way through. Uh, third over fourth, uh, she's more balanced in her udder. She's fuller in that left front four udder, and she's smoother um, in the four udder. The four udder smoother blending into the body wall today uh, in the third third cow over the fourth cow. She's also uh, more dairy, but I really like the big rear udder in this fourth cow. Uh, just today, she needs to clean up, dairy up, uh, and I just like to... Uh, sweeten it, smooth her out in that four udder and just make her a little fuller in that left front to get her any higher. But she places over the cow in the next. Uh, she has more femininity about that head. She's cleaner through that neck area. Uh, she's just sharper and cleaner, more open ribbed all the way through. Uh, the cow coming out fifths, uh, very nice uttered cow, but just a cow that lacks that uh, breed character femininity about the head quality and dairiness uh, to get any higher in this class. Thank you very much.